Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Morgana Radio, where I, your host, Morgana Ray, interview the world's most fascinating thought leaders on money, love, and magic. And we have a special guest for you today, unlike anybody I've interviewed to date, because we are focusing on wealth free, or sorry, we are focusing on true health freedom. And it's not an accident that I mixed up the words because they are kind of the same. There is no wealth without health. And there is nothing more costly to your pocketbook and your life and your happiness than illness, especially if you live in the United States. So this is extremely important. And I'm very, very excited to introduce my friend Maria Whalen. Let me tell you about Maria. Maria is the pioneer of true individual health freedom. Maria Whalen is transforming alternative and Western medicine worldwide. After battling back from her own near death experience and healing herself completely of so-called incurable diseases, Maria created her groundbreaking invincible wealth wellness system. <laughs> Maria reveals how to become your own doctor and gain complete control of your own health so you never become sick again. The invincible wellness system frees you from today's healthcare system, giving you complete and total independence. And I really want that to sink in. How much money, time, fear would it free for you to be free of our whole health insurance, hospital, pharmaceutical system? She is the figure that industry leaders, entrepreneurs, and business titans go to for their own invincible health. Because once you have money, you know <laughs> that just how valuable your health is. And she's been a lightning rod of controversy in the health community. Maria is featured in the groundbreaking film, The Shift, it's a movie about influential leaders making unique contributions in the world. So if health, freedom, liberation, and independence are important to you, and you want to protect your greatest asset because you only get one body in this lifetime and you can't buy it back, then you are going to love this interview with author, international speaker, and leader of the self-sufficiency movement, Maria Whalen. Welcome, Maria. Thank you. That was a beautiful, well introduction. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. So what does health freedom mean? That's a great question right off the bat. So I actually my definition of it and I tell people that you know this definition is so critical because if you don't actually get the same concept I'm talking about then we're not um, you know I'm not talking about the same thing right so the way I define it is three things one is you have to know how to heal anything you have now and I'll tell you I speak with a lot of experts in my own industry and they have a hard time wrapping their head around these definitions so it's okay if it seems so like you know unbelievable kind of a thing I'll explain some later and the second thing is that you have to know how to never get anything. So you never get a diagnosis, right? And the third thing is you have to know how to do it yourself. So you have to have your own system. And so those three things, obviously, for me, health freedom doesn't mean health freedom unless I have all three of those. And uh, so, you know, there's a lot to break down in that, right? Because most people stop at number one and go, wait a minute, how is it possible you know, to heal anything my body's created, right? So I always say that anything your body created, your body can, can heal. Mm. So, yeah, so that's kind of what health freedom means to me. Um, there's a lot, a lot to that. That's a really radical, radical statement. So if it's that simple and we can all do it, why don't we? That's a great question. I think it's sad that it's radical, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's sad that it's radical. So, you know, 
in a nutshell, a lot of people hear what they hear me saying is Western medicine is bad, and I'm not saying that at all. In fact, it's it's more about the system, it's not necessarily just the people in it. So a lot of people are kind of becoming aware that that's not quite the answer that they want. Mm -hmm. So it has its place. It's great for emergency medicine. We would never want to live without that. You know, we'd be great at that. Um, but really, the funny thing is, is, is my beef is really with the alternative system. Mm. And, you know, what we've done is we've taken the Western model and we've put it in the, into an alternative model. We've used the exact same cookie cutter model and what we're using is just better tools, right? Less harmful tools, more beneficial tools. But the problem is it's still fragmented. So, you know, if you ever talk to anybody, almost everybody who comes to us says the same thing. And it was the same experience I went through when I healed myself, which is, this is so crazy, right? You gotta go to a thousand different practitioners. Everybody's modality is the best ever. You know, this specific supplement's the cure-all, or we got it, you know, it's about diet or about this, and it's like, it really has nothing to do with all of that. You know, those are pieces of it, but we're so missing it because your body doesn't operate independently anywhere, right? So I always have people say, oh, I have a thyroid issue. And I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> you have a system issue, you know, because your, body, your thyroid doesn't operate by itself, you know? I always say, like, your eyes are blinking right now. There's a million things that just happened in your body to support that happening, right? So so it's kind of that concept. So I really, you know, healing myself and working with thousands of people, people over the last 10 years, that's what's needed is people don't have a place where there's an actual roadmap that says, here's your whole body, work from it head to toe, but then learn as you go. And at the end, be totally empowered to be your own doctor, right? So those, those are just, they're very big, each concept you can chunk out, right? But mm -hmm. they're all in one place, and that's really what's missing and why we don't have health freedom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of the nature of the model, you know what I mean? Like everybody who's wanted to be a part of the holistic system, they've all kind of had to just dive in and be, a, you know, take a piece of it, right? Because that's usually what happens. Or if somebody has their own experience and they, they go, oh, I want to help other people with their digestion or whatever it is that they choose, but... Ultimately, to ever heal your body of anything, you actually have to deal with it from head to toe, inside out. Well, I, when I first, or I guess when I last met you, I heard your story and you have a really dramatic story. And it's funny that you mentioned somebody goes through their thing and then shares their piece of it. You went through your own thing, but you're coming out with a bigger picture. So how did you get here? Yeah, that's a great question. So... I won't tell my whole story here because it's kind of long. Basically. I'll share with you where people can hear it if they want to hear the whole thing. Yeah. It, it is a powerful story. Um, and people get kind of stuck in one piece of it. And really, it was the other side of it that changed everything for me. So, yes, I had, you know, years and years of being sick. I was a boxer when I was young. So I looked fit. I was strong, you know. But internally, I wasn't healthy. And um, it just keeps going. And just like any little ailments that we ignore, they just, what, get bigger and bigger and bigger. So I did that for many years. And then um, at about 10, 15 years into it, I really had a lot of suffering. So I had, you know, lupus. And that was kind of like the big one. And then I got bigger ones. <laughs> and um, so I had one that was supposed to be nerve tumors up and down my spine and completely debilitating. Um, I actually had one in my finger removed and uh, I was the first person in the United States who ever had that one. So, you know, there was a lot, a lot, you know, I went through. Um, the, the last one put me in comas every other week. And so, you know, I've lived the walk of suffering. I, I understand what it was like and I can handle quite a bit. I'm a pretty tough, obviously, my background. Um, but the hardest part for me was watching my family and friends, you know, that's, it's so hard when people feel helpless and you feel like, I just want to be out of here. You know, I don't want people to suffer because of me and all that. So it was a long drawn out process for me. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm cliff noting some of this here, but basically, you know, my doctor came to me and said, you know, he said, Hey, I need to meet with you. I need you to come in. I went in, he had this different look on his face and I was like, you know, doc, listen, I've been through enough like there's nothing you could say that's gonna hurt me it's okay like I didn't want him to feel bad for having to tell me any more bad news and um, he goes mm, this one's gonna be a little different for you and I was like what could possibly be different you know I said look if you tell me I'm gonna be dying I'm like 
honestly, at this point, I'd been suffering so much that I was like, I'm okay leaving this planet. You know, yeah. I was at that place. So he said, you know, I know that really your biggest dream and kind of your only reason for hanging on through all this is because you want to have a child. And, you know, he said the test results came back that you probably will never be able to have kids. So, you know, that was worse than any diagnosis you could give me. And um, I left there and I went to take my own life. And I won't ruin the story, but some significant things happened um, and kind of came out of it the next day, realizing I was alive. And in that moment, you know, that's where the old fighter in me came back. And I said, you know, this is not the way it's supposed to be. My body wasn't designed to, to have this, you know, there's, it just didn't make sense. And so that, you know, I got filled with my warrior mentality again. And I was like, I'm going to figure this out. You know, I'm going to figure it out. So I knew that I needed to stop doing what I was doing, which was lots of medicines and blah, blah, blah. So I went into the holistic side and I was like, I'm going to figure this out naturally. That process is why I created what I created, because after five years, $80,000, I don't even know, I, I lost track. You know, you've tried every modality, you've tried every diet, you've tried every procedure, every cleanse, every detox, every, you know, I bought every online book, I bought every book, I bought every e-course, I went to a million different practitioners. And while it was still more beneficial than what I was doing, right, I could fill two steps forward, fill two steps back, it still, um, you know, I, in that process, I was exhausted, you know, and I sat there and went, I just kind of stepped back from it. And I go, okay, so we have this system that will for sure kind of keep you sick, you know, or at least a slave. Because even if you're on a medicine and you think you're better, you're still a slave to that medicine, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we have this system that is so much more beneficial, but it's so fragmented. People can never get from point A to B in, in any time frame. And the results they get aren't the level of results I wanted, you know? I wanted to be healed. I wanted to know why I had what I had. I want to know how to never get anything again because I never want to be in that position again. And I want to be independent. I was like, I don't want to sit in a doctor's office or even a natural practitioner's office and tell my health history one more time ever again. <laughs> you know, that's the place I got to. So, you know, the thing for me, my, my warrior in me was more about like, I want to free people. I don't want to just, you know, there's a million pieces I learned along the way I could have focused on, but I knew that that, what, that was what kept me sick. You know, I couldn't just focus on my digestion. I couldn't just focus on hormones. I couldn't just focus on my mental, emotional component. It is all because our body is a system. And so when I stepped back and got that, you know, you know, fast forward way down the road when I went to pre-med, all my professors were coming to me. And my pre-med was really cool because it was actually alternative and Western. So I had to study every modality. And every one of my holistic modality professors were coming to me privately like, hey, what did you, you know, you said this in class, I'm curious, and like, can you help me with my health? And that was when I, the nail, you know, I was like, okay, that just illuminated the problem we have, right? <laughs> it's like, you guys are great in your modality, but nobody's getting people to this kind of freedom, and we need it more now than ever before in history. So that's kind of how it came about. What's your big vision for the world? Oh, gosh. <laughs> you know me, I'm the controversy girl, but I also like my life. So um, <laughs> I say things a little bit more around, you know, we have a lot of powers that be that don't want us independent. So um, that is, that's my thing is to free, you know, we, we enslave ourselves. Anybody we've given our power to or we're enmeshed in that, you know, we're a slave to. And so that's my thing is really creating a pathway and a portal for people to free themselves. And like you said earlier so eloquently, there is not a huge difference between your wealth and your health. And, you know, I have a lot of friends who are very wealthy and they get a diagnosis and that wealth doesn't mean jack, mm -mm. you know. So, you know, it is really the psychology of health I could write 10 books on because uh, it's amazing how we don't put a dollar value on ourselves, you know. And for those who are not cash wealthy, um medical problems get in the way of making cash and I think there's really nothing more dangerous to your nest egg than getting sick. Huge. Yeah. And you know, there's cash everywhere. The money's everywhere. 
It really is. You know, it's really simple to make money. Um, and you know what? When you feel good, it makes that even more simple. It really does. Yeah, totally. I, you know, I speak on stages around the world for years, and I sit and I look out in an audience of 300 people who are pretty visibly unhealthy. And I'm sure, you know, because just being thin doesn't mean healthy, you know what I'm saying? So it's not just that, but I can tell, I can see on people. And, you know, and they're all trying to build their business, make more money, they're hardcore go-getters, but their health becomes last. And I'm like, man, you could make that process so simple. You know, if you have energy of an energizer bunny, not because you're injecting it with caffeine, but natural vitality, mm -hmm. you know, and you, your libido is great, your home life is good, you know what I mean? All that stuff, it all stems from our vitality. Like it's mm -hmm. just, a, that's what fuels it. So, you know, why swim upstream? Uh, what do you think about the dementia crisis that is really hitting America? Hmm. So I'll say, I'll put dementia in my first thing of heal anything your body created. Mm -hmm. So every title and ailment, so this is where holistic medicine goes wrong, is we still paradigm it by the title of the diagnosis. And there is no such thing as those. It's a system issue. It. It's honestly as simple as that. So, so I'll tell you what I teach people is there's there's five places that our whole body operate from. Mm -hmm. So any any title you can insert it here. Okay. So this is how you heal X Y Z. Um, it is your hormones, your DNA, your immune system, your physical structure, and the mental emotional component. That's like laying the foundation of a house, right? So if that foundation isn't done properly because that's what we do in all holistic medicine. We come up here and we hit, we deal with the ailment and then we build it down to the foundation. And that's not the way you want to go cuz like you're sitting there right now, right? Our heart is beating, you know, your liver is doing what it's supposed to do, your kidneys. So why are we not focusing on that? Like why do we not go in and actually look at the systems that borrow and give to each other within our our body? And you have to do it in a way that's like it's methodical too meaning like a recipe, you know, if you ever tried to bake bread and you leave out an ingredient, you know, the result, you can still get a pile of bread, but it may not be the kind of pile of bread you want, right? <laughs> so, so that's what we're doing now is we kind of do all these hack things. Like my, my pet peeve is biohacking kind of stuff, you know, and people are like, ha why are we hacking our body? <laughs> you know, who thought that was a good idea? We don't want to hack our body. So if you honor your body and you work with it like a system, and you work with those five pillars, and you really do it in the right order, in the right timing, with the right tools, um, you know, you, you just take it off your mind. Because first of all, your body's gonna erase whatever that title mm -hmm. you gave it is, right? So to answer your question about dementia, so it's any title, I don't care what it is. So when people come to me and say, I have fibromyalgia, well, I don't care what they say, my answer is always, no you don't. You know, you have a system issue. That's all it is. But nobody has a system, right? That's what's missing, is being able to work actually comprehensively. That's the true definition of holistic. That term is thrown around very loosely, right? Like I deal with it. It's a holistic modality, but you're not handling it holistically. So, you know, and then you've got the other piece where you have to want to learn. You know, if you don't want to learn on a simple way, we think it's so complicated. But if you learned on a simple way, why say you have an ailment you know let's say the big c word I, i'm we're all scared to say the big c word but most people at the end of the day with that c word they still don't have a clue why they had it and they don't know how to make sure it never comes back hmm. and we're so focused on just get rid of it and we villainize it it's not a bad thing it's actually just a communication in your body it's a, your body was trying to say i have a system issue you know but when you know the system you are empowered, right? So you're not going to bed at night going, I don't want to be one of those one in three diagnoses someday. I don't want to sit around and just hope I'm not going to get something. You know? So that's kind of like, you know, it doesn't matter what the title is or what the ailment, what the diagnosis. If your body created it, it has the same power to get rid of it. Mm. I was hearing uh, a discussion on you know, National Public Radio a few months ago about how Every drug we've ever created mimics something that our body produces, which is kind of mind-blowing if you think about it. So 
how long does it take for somebody to get better or restore their system? It doesn't take long, really. It really is there's a lot of factors, right? It depends on how serious somebody is about taking full responsibility for their health. <laughs> you know, that's the first thing. Because I, I'm very strict with that, with my program when people come in. We do an interview process for that reason. Because I want to make sure people are up for health freedom. You know, if you want me to fix you or you want a quick fix, there's a thousand people who will gladly take your money, uh, you know, to do that kind of thing. So if you if people are serious about it, I mean, it's, it's hard to say. It always, you know, depends on how much body debt you have, right? It's no different than financial debt. So if you've gotten yourself in a million dollars of debt, you know, well, what are the factors you're going to look at? How fast you're going to pay it off, right? Based on how much you're going to put towards it, what's what's the resources? So you know that's really up to each person. I have a pretty good fast track because you at least have a roadmap to follow. You know, I take people through a three-month process, but that's not just healing yourself. I'm teaching you how to be your own dentist, how to set up your own pharmacy. You know, everything from head to toe. So you know, yeah. you know our bodies will respond properly when we handle it properly. So. I know that with money and love, and I would assume it's the same with health, we all consciously think we want it, but we have subconscious reasons to keep it away. What have you, what have you seen? Because I see you nodding. Those of you listening on iTunes, this is all being videotaped. The video is available at MorganaRadio.com. So you can see how beautiful and vibrant Maria is. So what, do, what has been your experience? What comes up? when people are giving up illness. That's such a big statement. I did it myself. I mean, I had to really look at why I wanted to hold on to what I had as well, you know, but really for me, it was because I wasn't really willing to take full control of my health. That was why when it came to that warrior in me, it was like, no more, I'm in charge, I'm taking over. And, um, you know, and I got attention from it. It, uh, you know, it allowed me to, to not, to play small you know, um, allowed me to stay in my fear mm -hmm. rather than walking through my fear. Um, like I said, I could write 10 books on, on the psychology of health because it's fascinating. It really is. I mean, Morgana, I watch people spend so much money on business and other things or, you know, they'll be, they'll tell me they're dying and have a month to live and then they'll go, they don't have money to do things for their health, but they can go on a Disney cruise, you know, <laughs> and we see it over and over and over again. And, you know, there's so much. It's such a big question. But, you know, sometimes I honestly, if I was to just be empathetic about it, my biggest answer would be that I think they've been through the ringer with with so many people giving them hope but not actually having a real solution. So you become skeptical and you become a bit cynical. And, um, you know, I, there's a saying that one of my mentors says about cynicism, you know, it's just, it's basically somebody who's been hurt that doesn't want to be hurt again. Um, and so I get it, you know, I get it. You get, you kind of start losing hope. Like I'm just going to live with this. It's not possible. Um, and that's the biggest thing. So, you know, when we start with people, mindset's one of my big, I have to do so much just on that in the beginning, even when they know they've found the answer, we still have to unprogram all this and they still have to work through the fears and all that. And, you know, mostly fear, of course, people say that, but fear is really, for me, it's, I see that it's just because people don't know different, mm. you know, it's like, like I fear legal stuff, right? Like, cause I don't know the law, but if I, if my lawyer doesn't fear it, right. Then he's like, no problem because he knows it. And so it's no different than our body. And so I get that crossing through that fear sometimes is just by empowering yourself. Mm. So when you know you know, that kind of stuff, then you know, it just, it takes it away. I don't fear anything. My 11 year old who they told me I could never have, you know, she, um, she travels the world with me. You could put me in a third world country and tell me there's the most dangerous, scary disease outbreak ever. I don't even blink an eye. It doesn't scare me at all, you know, with her or me. And that is such a place of peace. And when I know I have my health, I have everything else, mm. you know, because we all know that, right? It's like when you don't have it, that's, nothing else will matter. And that's just how it is. You mm. know? So you have a gift for our listeners to help them go deeper into learning about this and how to make it happen for their lives. Can you describe what, what you have for us? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm sharing my online workshop so that because people inevitably are going to be like, well, what are these five pillars? <laughs> so I don't want to leave people hanging. 
Now, I don't go in there and tell you what to take or how to do something because then I'm no different than the problem I'm trying to fix. So what it is is it goes in more depth on the five pillars, what that looks like, um, what that means, and kind of that recipe, you know, how to walk through it properly. And even talking, you know, a lot of it sometimes for people, they can hear one part about how, how to be a savvy consumer, you know, because our consumerism is what creates and perpetuates the system, right, how we buy things. So if we're buying the quick fix, we're only telling them to market to us more to buy it to, for that. So there's just a whole bunch of stuff in there. But, you know, more than anything, it helps people see like, hey, I'm missing that one or I need to focus on this and you can just redirect your time and energy to a place that gets you more to that so there's an application process in there for if people want to work with us but you know there's no pressure it's not a sales thing because I'm not attached to whether people do it I really believe when the when the students ready you know the teacher will appear and so if the message makes sense and people want you know that in a simple way um, there's an application in there and it doesn't cost you anything. There's a deposit you put down, but all that deposit is is that you're committed to being on your call uh, with my team. And they talk with people and make sure we can help you and make sure that you know they're a good fit for us as well. Um, but if you don't want to do that, it's no problem because you're going to learn a lot in that workshop. So um, you know, Great. that's the gift. So the link will be posted with your interview at MorganaRadio.com with more about Maria. Uh, the video version of this for those of you who are listening on iTunes. And do you have any final words of wisdom for the person who is out there without optimum health? Mm. Uh, well, there is hope. And... You know, I'd really encourage two things. One is that we need people free more than ever right now in our society. We need people thinking consciousness of freedom. There's an illusion of freedom out there, but we're not really free <laughs> until you really understand what that looks like and means. And, you know, freedom is sometimes comes at a price. So that I'd encourage people to really think in that mindset. The other thing is to put a high price tag on your head. Make yourself the most valuable thing. Because you know what, there's people, there, those two systems are sitting back and they have a very big price tag on your head. You know, because when you get sick, you're worth a lot. And you got to think about that. So if your price tag on your head isn't more than what they're putting on, you know, you're, we're just really setting ourselves up for a lot of suffering that's not necessary. Um, so, and this, you know, I designed my program so that people can reach it anywhere in the world and that we can do it with our families. You know, so this is a this is a movement right it's a way that we can change very drastically because if everybody was healthy and everybody knew how to not get sick and everybody was empowered just think about how much that would change our economy like that oh yeah uh money in my experience very very attracted to self-care best investment you can ever make wow absolutely absolutely i love what you teach Thank you so much. And I love what you teach. This has been great. So again, absolutely take advantage of this free class that Maria is offering. We're going to post the download at MorganaRadio.com and watch the video to see how beautiful she is. And thank you so much. I'm very excited about your movement, Maria. Thank you. Thanks for having me.